What's up everyone, it's Jan Boers, new video, and in this video I will be talking about my top 15 songs from Eurovision 2024, based on studio versions. Let's talk! Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm very glad you're here, I really hope you will enjoy this video, and for the ones who are the members, you saw it sooner, and for the ones who are not, members now you have the chance you know you have three more options like support me support me more and receive the exclusive content or support me even crazily one become the ultra fun which also bring you more benefits the most but definitely it's something what i will now do so consider becoming a member or give me a super like buy me a coffee subscribe to the channel like the video share the video ring the notification bell not to miss any other video and don't forget to watch my previous videos there are plenty, 100% there is something you will like, if not all. You will like all. Everything. Everything. Anyway, let's move on to those top 15 songs. Number 15. My number 15 is Grease Zari. From the very first moment, I didn't know what to think about this song. And I think this is the biggest grower of them all. It started in really like low positions and now it becomes 15. I kind of like it. I, You know, I have this very, very strange relationship with this song. Until the last 20, 30 seconds, I'm not sure if I really like it. I'm like, do, 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 do. It's not for me. Somehow it doesn't work, but somehow it has, you know, it's like a drug or like a sugar. You need one more bite, you know, it, it really works this way. But then the last part when when uh, Marina Sati is making a little bit balladic, that I really, really like. And this is the part I'm waiting for. And I think when the song has a part you are waiting for, it's something good about it. This is the, this is a good about it. And I think it's, it maybe will rise even upper of course it doesn't mean that i don't believe that greece can for example make it to top 10 it can but this list has nothing to do with it this is my personal list you know number 14 number 14 is czechia with the song pedestal and Ico. it dropped a little bit lower it's even with the revamp i think it didn't move any anyhow it was very constantly my number 10 but now it's still falling but this is the song i always like to listen i really like it even with the new revamp version which bring this little passage which in my opinion works perfectly when you watch also the video but doesn't really work in headphones so that's the reason why it dropped down because this definitely took me somehow out of the tempo of the song for unnecessary reasons number 13 is denmark saba sand this is just a you know very nice pop song of course there is nothing origi original it's the derivative it's but it's constructed well i just like its energy it, it just works it has this brilliant tempo i have fun during listening to it even though i'm not really singing it and actually this melody not really appears in my head yeah it's there but this is because I'm, I'm listening to it all the times at some point number 12 number 12 is Croatia Rintim Tagidim from Baby Lasagna I think this is also a grower for me I didn't like the song that much or I didn't have any feeling towards it I was like okay this is the pop rock pop rock with a very nice story and the story is fascinating on it and so on but this is the song I'm listening on my headphones. I'm never skipping it. I always do it. Like... Somehow, somehow it works. And also, you know, it works on me life, really. Like, there is something special about it. Maybe much more than in here only. But uh, I found it very, like, refreshing to hear it among all those songs. Still number 12. Still not my favorite song. Probably it won't ever be this high but still made it to this list i think this is fine because there are still like 22 songs which probably will never make it any anywhere nearby number 11 is australia one mil kali one blood which is very nice pop song it's in my opinion very underestimated in the community and maybe for a reason that it's okay it's somehow you know i will this is this will sound like very terrible what I will say because it's completely against what I think, but it's it's the one of the least songs which don't sound made for Eurovision. It feels like a good radio song applied for Eurovision, even though I don't trust it, but it's just very nice. Nice pop song ordinary at some point which makes it a little bit outstanding and extraordinary this year like most of the songs were constructed for Eurovision and it somehow does like Instead of 
being best because it's very ordinary it somehow doesn't belong I, I don't know how to I don't know how to describe this but for me it's 11 like it's it's perfect like this is good I like to listen to it I, all the time I'm having it in my headphones I'm enjoying number 10 number 10 is Italy, La Noia, Angelina Mango. And maybe you're asking like, why is it not upper in your list? Like, what the hell? You don't like Italy? No, it's not about me liking a country or disliking a country. This is basically only to do with the song, not even an artist. And I like the song, but that's why it's 10. But also it's 10 because I don't like it that crazily much. It's not my favorite song. In my opinion, it's, it's, it goes with this popish Italian, but funny way. And I'm not super big fan of joke acts in general. Of course, I wouldn't ever tell this is a joke I wouldn't say it about Croatia, I wouldn't say it about Italy at all, but it has this entertainment part very very much in it, which is very fascinating life, but in the headphones it feels a little bit repetitive. It's not the Italian sound, Italian pop, which I prefer, which I like, and which I would normally listen. So that's the reason, and it's still actually making it to my top 10. I was kind of surprised when I was making this list. My number 9 is Belgium, Musti, Before the Party is Over. At I think also this is a grower. Like I have the very similar relationship about this, like with the Zari, but from a little bit different angle. That also two thirds of the songs, it's kind of boring, but then it, the gradation is just brilliantly done. Even it's repetitive, but it's it musically it's brilliant. On the other hand, if I compare it to Zari, this is not a chaotic song. This brings the very similar, very simple melody. It grows, it goes the same, but it goes very slowly till the explosion. But the explosion are really worth waiting for. And this is what I like on the song very, very much. This is a good made song for Eurovision. Single era. I'm very curious if somebody from the list actually made an album and just took the best song from the album for Eurovision. Probably none. I think this is something I will probably make a video out of it. Would you like to have a video out of it about the problem of Eurovision songs made on songwriting camps instead of authentic songwriting? I would do that, such a video, such a podcast. Anyway, my number eight is Germany, always on the run from Isaac. I really enjoy the song, but I think it will be falling from my list a little bit lower because it just loses the tempo. It's just losing me. It's starting to feel very ordinary and I starting to be a little bit allergic on the start that I'm just average. Still, I like it and still I have in my mind how it was looking life, not looking like, but how he was performing life and he gives this song another level layer even though in my headphones I never skip it I really enjoy it because it has this rhythm it has this rag and bone feeling which I like and he's after all he's very original in the mix in the list even though this Eurovision it's very diverse in the way of what kind of sounds we have in this is one of the only very good things about this year like they're pretty good lots of good things but in my opinion like we went we went really lower with the quality in general and also with our expectations. Slovenia is number seven. Raven, Veronica, I love it. I love the gradation of the song. I really enjoy the whole composition of the song. It's different, it's mystical, it's popish, but also not. It combines this opera vibe, which I don't really mind at all and it gives this break to, to the end. I like the gradation of the song. I really like the gradation and this is also the part I really love about it. Jason TC, Veronica, I'm sold, you know, always. I cannot wait for this part to hear it anytime. Really enjoy it. Number six is Latvia, Don's Hollow. I think it was upper before on my list, but I probably listened to it so many, many, many times. I think this is the most listened to Eurovision song on my list. I just simply losing attention, but I still like this Hozir vibe, this gospelish vibe in it, or church vibe. It's there. It it works. Na 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 na. Na, na. It works. It's a simple working melody, very American vibe. And I'm, I'm glad that something like this exists in Europe also, because why not? Why not? Like uh, coming from Latvia, this is brilliant. Is this don'ts don'ts? I have no clue, but definitely I'm enjoying this song a lot. Still number six. My number five is Ukraine, Teresa Maria and Alonia Alonia and Jerry Heil. I really like it. I always think if I like it or not and then I listen to it to my, in my headphones I was like yeah this is one of the best songs this year again. It's a little bit too repetitive and it doesn't gradate that well and I'm not criticizing num number five right but then the rest of it it's perfect. It's perfect. I like the rap part. I like the singing part. I like the melody. I like the 
combination. I like the flow. I like that you don't feel it's a long three minute song. Long, it's not long, but it feels much, much, much closer. And it has a very good like uh, sinusoid of, of gradation. This is really work. This is this is composed perfectly. Like it's in my opinion one of the most brilliantly written song this year. Even it's very simple kind of, but clever very very clever number four is sweden unforgettable which is jumping on my list upper and upper is definitely not unforgettable at all and actually it works perfectly in headphones it's amazing very good radio friendly pop song which i have nothing against it i enjoy it i like it it's not an experiment it doesn't feel like an experiment it feels like a very good practical pragmatical but also emotional because it has this layer the craft it's just good. It's written good. It's composed perfectly. It has very modern electronic vibes also in it. Sung well. Come on, this is just a pure craft. I would like to have much more songs like this. Not exactly like this, but done like this. With this precision because lots of songs really feel undone even some of those on my list in compared to sweden israel is my number three hurricane eden uh, eden golan this is just a perfect ballad it's, this is a perfection of course i i have also this emotional connection to this song i cannot help it this is just very clear and it's it is just strong it's perfectly composed it's it's not experimenting anyhow anywhere it goes with the perfect formula how it should be done with precise composition with all the instrument and all the depth in all the amazing mix in and this is how we should put standards at eurovision songs this is done you know this is precision you don't need to like ballad you don't need to like israel whatever but how the song is made, like as a craft, this is how all of them should be done. This is professionalism. Number two is Norway, Ulveham from Gote. It's it's growing on me. Like I always liked it. I must say that in the Norwegian national selection, I it was my number two, actually, after this amazing duet, which just for me as a complex full package worked just brilliantly somehow, which I wouldn't expect. But Ulveham definitely is still my number two in this list because it's rockish, metalish. It has this mysterious Norwegian language in it, which I don't really mind, but I like it musically. I like this composition, this complexity, and also kind of, and I don't know if I can tell it, but it, or if it's true, but it doesn't feel like a song made primarily for Eurovision. It feels like a song which this band would do on their album. And I can feel this just goes this way. This is what I like on it. It's complex, it's perfectly composed. Also, I know the life is perfect, but I like it in the headphones and I like it from the very first note. This is the most clever thing, this raven sound in it. Oh my God, I love it. I will, after all, after this, I will listen to this immediately. Like, it's brilliant. This is brilliant composition, brilliant idea. It just works on me. My number two. And my number one is Switzerland. Of course, this is no surprise. I'm telling it in not just this video, but more. But um, this is the biggest grower on me. It wasn't laugh on the first sight, for sure. Definitely, it's, it's my number one now. I love the song. I like every single part. Unless Greece. This is also a compilation of many styles together. But somehow, it's much more harmonical it feels like a harmony to me the whole complexity gradation of the song you can say that this is the modern james bond song it's the james bond song for from 2024 like this simply can be there it starts as a very easy conflict and went to this craziness then being down and then after all a victory this is a perfection in my opinion and also now i yeah, i am influenced by the live performance but this is what i listen the most i think now nemo is clearly my number one even though i'm listening to other songs there are not so many songs i really have like uh, blocked on my spotify list but also i'm not listening to eurovision songs this year that much as i was used to simply because of the fact they are not that good in my opinion it, they are not that tempting to listen to it every day for me i'm not that hardcore fan as you are so i'm giving you more like a le regular viewer producer view and i must say that the general quality really went lower the expectation lowered and i think that really the reason is that we have only public voting in the semi-finals and producers are focusing on completely different things they are preparing much more eurovision songs 
so they are more ethno, blah blah blah, but the quality is missing. Quality in mix, quality in production, quality in composition. It's pointing to completely something else unnecessary and the Eurovision is again becoming Eurovision instead of a world platform of music to grow. This is my problem, but this is it. Like still there are so many kind of good songs, some brilliant songs for sure. Definitely those in my top five, I would say they are brilliant, of course, because they are in my top five, right? No, I think those are really like have those standards really, really high. And then there are some song genres which I don't prefer. Most of the dancey songs, this is not for me at all, like completely not. And also I don't like joke acts like at all. So you can watch my videos about it, why I don't like them. And I will just never appreciate it. This is not for me. Maybe when I'm drunk on the party, I can have fun of it, you know, but that's it. Most of the time I'm not drunk, so I prefer different songs. But this is my opinion, you know, you can have completely different top 15, completely different opinions, completely different taste. I think this is absolutely all right, because Eurovision after, after all is about sharing, accept diversities and whatsoever. So I would be glad if you write them in the comments below, so I know who they are the artist, which songs you like the most. Uh, also consider becoming a member so you can have those videos in advance and have some other benefits, some other content which will be just exclusive for you and also full versions of the videos which sometimes I will really reduce just uh, for members to have exclusive content but also you can buy me a coffee, you can give me a super like you can subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos, watch my previous videos and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.